Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin Cash. So there you go. We have reached our support area, our larger trend reversal area that we wanted price to get into. In the last video, we said that um, it is preferred that the price will go into this region. We had a small support area defined up here, but I told you it's not the preferred option. I'd like to see a healthy way four because the alternative would have been that the way four finished here. Entirely possible, but it would have been a weaker than ideal way four. So it has followed the ideal path and has reached now the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement level. I currently assume it will go lower eventually, um, but it reacted already to this level. Now, this is the support area for this way four, where price can turn around. Ideally, at one of these FIB levels, we have 249, 210 and 182. Below 182, I have to assume that we do not get one more wave up, that this fifth wave is not going to happen and that we are just that we just topped in three waves and price will make one more low, um, one more bear market low. Yeah. So as I said to you before, this is not looking like a sustained price increase at the moment. And it doesn't look as if the long term trend is really changing. Um, at the moment, however, we have a bit of uh, short term upside potential price followed it. Um, we talked about this way four. should the trend line break. We said that it's likely we get into this way four, which we're doing now. We've reached the support area and price has reacted also to that one four nine, sorry, two four nine level, which is fantastic because it means the price is respecting our Fibonacci levels. Yeah. So I just move that over, but I have no strong indication that the wave four is over. It can finish easily at the 23.6 retracement, which again here is the 249 level. I'm looking at this as an ABC structure, um, but the ideal target for a fourth wave is typically the 38.2 retracement. So we talk about 209 to 10. So it's already good that price has followed the primary scenario. And I do not think it's going to drop in one straight line. It could very well do that. It rallied significantly. So I think the market needs a bit of a clear out, a shake out here. But often what, th what this is likely to turn into is a more complex WXY correction. Crypto likes to do these so that this first ABC is going to turn into the first wave of the more complex correction. W, then an X wave and then a Y wave. We will see. It happens time and time again. Now, this is only a way four, but still we would like a decent size because of the rally. So all of that needs to be corrected. And if price breaks below 182, then we have to assume that we only topped in three waves, that we're not going to get five waves and that price could go to new lows because let's don't uh, let's not forget that on this chart, um, I'm still of the view that this is just a wave. No, we didn't want to do that. This is just a wave four. Yeah, and one more low is to come in a wave five. Yeah, the overall chart is just um, uncertain or bearish. Yeah, it doesn't really give us any strong uh, indication of an uptrend, especially as uh, it's making lower highs. Okay, here in 21, it made, a new, it made a new lower high. And also the last rally here was just in three waves. So because the last rally was in three waves and the move down, might become a five wave move yeah. due to that. Um, I mean, it, again, it, I'm open to the idea it could become something more bullish, but let's don't let's not forget that it lost like 98 percent of value over Bitcoin compared to Bitcoin uh, since I think 2017, 2018. So long term, honestly, I mean, Bitcoin is massively winning here um, and uh, it topped in three ways. What can I say? Right. That, that's just not a five wave move. So it's cl crystal clear, um, not bullish. OK, so from that point of view, the assumption has to be that this here is a five wave move down. And the idea was that it's not going to rally above 268 in a fourth wave. Well, it did that briefly. But if you zoom in, you can see that it didn't even close a four day candle above that level and it broke down again. So it's going to be interesting now. But first of all, we can still look at the shorter time frame and say, OK, it is still uh, it still has a chance to go higher anyway, um, as long as it's holding 182. And if it after the next high 
can give us another four and another five, then at least we have five waves up and we can look for a pullback target for the wave for the larger wave two to come because this would then count as a larger wave one, the first larger wave in an uptrend. And then we can look for a target in a wave two pullback, the correction, the corrective wave, which is correcting the entire move up all the way to the top of that potential wave one. But we're not there yet. First of all, we focus on this. And the first indication that the trend is already turning now to the upside would be a break above the B wave high at 308. All right, that's my update about Bitcoin Cash. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.